I don't, know, I don't even want to say that because it's going to piss a lot of people off. There's a regime, and that's the way it works. How do you control a group that is really a group only because it wants to be a group? I have pretty thick skin. People aren't going to insult me. I've been called every name in the book by people in this group. I've been called a thief, a liar, you know, a con artist. All right, I'm Alvin Johnson, and I'm a founder of the 501st Legion. He will never admit to the huge group that he's brought together. This guy that wears plastic has united over 2,000 people in the world. The 501st International Star Wars Costume Club, you're part of that uh, organization. You mentioned several thousand members around the world, though. That, uh, that is correct. We have members in uh, Europe, in Asia, all over the world. And they had these great outfits that were better than I had seen in the actual feature film. Well, now as the original epic hit the store shelves in a new trilogy, junkies are coming out of the woodworks. They're dressed in full Star Wars garb. For some, watching a movie just isn't enough. Oh, a lot of us make this stuff. Really? Yeah, absolutely. We belong to a group, an international fan club. They collect props and prop replicas as a way to bring the experience of the film home. Do you have a favorite, Carrie? Did you ever get into this? I never got into it. <laughs> you missed out. Yeah, I, well, I don't know if I missed out. <laughs> wow. At least my life's not so bad. I'm not that dork. It's time, John Andre, to play. Are you single? Yeah. Yeah. Raise your hand if you're single. <laughs> I think They're trying to escape from reality. One and a two and a three. Have you ever heard of the Fighting 501st? No. I've never heard of the Fighting 501st. Is that a college savings fund? I don't know. <laughs> Hook me up. Any idea what they might be? No. What might they be? So I guess the first question you have is the first question I have. Are these people crazy? Yeah, that's, that's uh, probably a fair question. So why would adults dress like this? We put in the paper to come see Darth Vader do the coin toss. Here we go. So uh, yeah, it's definitely something something to play with, something to have fun with, and it works. Luke, I am your father. Oh, and I Rick. know that guy is not your father, Scott, because I am, I am pretty sure that most of them are single. <laughs> Sometimes when they make fun of us, they actually mention that we do charity work. Well, it just gives them something totally new. Um, just opens up a new opportunity to see something that's really going to brighten their days. The doctor did a simple blood test, said it appears he has leukemia. Day plus 19 of the transplant. Star Wars became a method for him to escape the reality of what he was going through. The 501st, we're going to present him with a certificate making him an honorary member. He started not responding as well to the medications anymore. A parent should not have a birth and a death certificate in the same envelope. Call went out to try to visit Christian in the hospital. I felt it was very compelling to go help uh, Christian out. This is why I do it. This is why I do costuming. This is why I dress as Vader's, just to be with uh, young kids like that that yeah, have this love and excitement about it and that I can give them back to them. What should we color? How about if we color me? What white dreams I have to get to? That's so great, John. I'm actually coloring with Darth Vader. I suppose I'd be dressing up in costumes if I wasn't making the movie. First outing. I'm getting blown up. <laughs> it added a completely different element to the experience. They have all these guys in their authentic costumes. Looked like they had just stepped right out of the screen and into the audience, and, and everyone loved it. I'm a little scared of these people. <laughs> this is the story of the Fighting 501st. Well, it's over now, and I don't know how. Living in a world of make Well, it's over now, and I don't know how. Who's the 501st? Of make believe.